Hi guys, it's me, Skylar Capri, and we're going to be doing update number one of my Fine Fragrance Mist collection, Use It Up. If you missed the intro video and wanna see where we started, I'll have it in the cards right now. Otherwise, let's get right on into the progress. So starting with one that's pretty boring, I did not use this one at all, and that is White Jasmine in the Full Size Fine Fragrance Mist. This is my newest one that I picked up at the winter semi-annual sale for 2023. Also, I've just been using this normally, not really trying to use it up, and I'm already about halfway done because this is the most recent addition to my collection, and also it's really not taking me long to use it up at all. I am just enjoying it. This really isn't a high priority in this project, so no progress on this one. The next one is Champagne Toast. This is the 2022 Champagne Toast in the Faceted. Again, these are eight fluid ounces, so a decent sized fragrance mist, and I really enjoy the packaging on this one. We started, if I can find my pen, we started at the fourth diamond right there, right in the middle, and we are down to the third diamond right there in the middle. By third diamond, I'm counting up from the bottom because I have misplaced my Sharpie. No idea where it is. So we have used a relative good amount of product right there. So probably about like maybe half an inch of product. So I'm very happy about this one. The way that I've been using this one, because it does have a berry note in it, I have been pairing it with Cotton Candy Clouds. Cotton Candy Clouds I picked up in the summer semi-annual sale of 2024. So back in June, I think I have a haul. If you wanna watch that, I can put it in the cards. But um, yes, this is what I've been pairing it with. I think Champagne Toast pairs really well with anything citrusy, anything with a berry tone, or really anything with like sort of that bubbly undertone. So such as I think Pure Wonder has that bubbly undertone. Um, I wanna say there's something else that's completely blank in my mind that has a bubbly undertone, but I think this is a really good scent to pair with a lot of things. It's light, it's airy, it's definitely a brighter fragrance, which I like having a brighter fragrance when I'm using some sort of deeper, more gourmands, which we will get into now. So that is my progress on Champagne Toast. The next one is Warm Vanilla Sugar. If you don't recognize this packaging and you're new to Bath & Body Works, this is the 2020 packaging. Their Fine Fragrance Mist used to have this sort of lid in the minis. Now it is updated to the Fine Fragrance Mist that are in the full size, sort of that thick cap that I showed you in Champagne Toast. Warm Vanilla Sugar is a nice scent, as I said in my previous video. On the dry down, so after I spray it and it completely dries, I have like this wet dog sort of vibe to it. I'm not sure why, but I found that by pairing this with the marshmallow pumpkin latte, which I'll show you very quickly, um, I like it a lot better. I like those two combined more than just using them separate. We started right here, so where the orange packaging meets sort of this white glitter. And right now we are right by the word use. So right there, so that is sort of the line. So right there, so we went from here to there. A good amount of progress on this one. I was really using this to complement the marshmallow pumpkin latte. Wasn't just wearing this on its own. So definitely would get a lot more usage if this was the focal scent and that was the background scent. I think this one will be quick to use up. Warm Vanilla Sugar, as I mentioned previously, is really something I wear in the fall, winter time. I really don't like to carry this into like February, January, March type vibe. So this one I'm hoping to finish up by the end of the project. And I think with that much we can. Also the sprayer on this is really nice. I feel like you get a lot of progress, a lot of project, a lot of product, goodness, a lot of product per spray on this, which I really like. So you're not really needing to spray like a bunch to get it it's sort of saturated. So that is the update on Warm Vanilla Sugar. And now the one that I'm most excited for, you guys, I have finally finished up Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Full Size Fine Fragrance mist we are completely used up there is not a drop of product left in there i started this one during the last update so last week literally right there i had like two centimeters of product left and it took me the entire week i was wearing this every single day and usually how i wear my fragrance mist is that i'll do like a spray here kind of a spray across my like chest area and then a spray on my other arm i don't really pat it in because i feel like that makes the fragrance go away especially rubbing it that's definitely going to make it go away a lot sooner if you guys would like to see sort of how I make my fragrance mist last I'd love to film that video for you um, I've definitely learned over the years what works and what doesn't especially as the Bath and Body Works fragrance mists are getting less saturated meaning that their their lasting power is decreasing 
They might only last for two hours rather than four hours. You definitely wanna make sure that you're applying them to get the most out of the fragrance. So very happy that this one is finished up. It took me the entire week. So if you're in the progress in the, gosh, what is me with product in progress in that if you are in the, I don't, I don't even know the word anymore, process there we go if you are in the process of using up your fine fragrance mist please don't be discouraged when you're using them and you feel like you're not like getting half the bottle like some of the other youtubers do i definitely watch other youtubers and they're like yep i finished this in like a week and it's like a whole fine fragrance mist and i am like I don't know how you are doing this. That is amazing progress. I will never have that amount of progress in a week. It literally took me a week to finish up two centimeters. So don't get discouraged. Keep using your products. Every single product is different. The sprayer, the sprayer on this one is a lot weaker than on my white jasmine and champagne toast one. I literally was in the store the other day, sprayed a thousand wishes, how I sprayed this one, and my arm was like drenched. I had to go wipe it off. So I was like, okay, the sprayer on this one really is that bad. So happy to have this one finished up. So happy to have this one gone. Can't wait for this to see the recycle bin or the trash. I'll read the instructions on the bottom of the bottle and on the website so that it goes in the right place. But yes, this is a six-year-old fragrance. It was time for it to go. So that really wraps up update one of this project Use It Up. Really where we left off, my goals continuing on as obviously the big goal was to get this one gone, that's gone now. So my goals would be to finish this one up and then see how far I can get on this one. If this one I can finish up, I will happily do that. But then again, I'm not trying to douse myself. I don't need to spray it 18 times in the morning, 20 times in the afternoon. That's just unrealistic for me. And because these products are so expensive, there's really no point in me just wasting Pro, you know, wasting products so that I can make a video about it and say that I use the whole thing. So that is really my progress for this project on these products. And I will see you guys in my next video, hoping to have a sort of Black Friday guide like I did the Body Care Day guide. So hoping to do like a Black Friday version of that. We'll also have some winter semi-annual sales stuff coming up. I want to talk about the new Emily in Paris collection, sort of what's coming in terms of the New Year's Eve scent. I know a lot of people are speculating, so I want to make some informational videos on that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in one of those next videos. Bye guys.